The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. And welcome live inside Percival Fieldhouse here on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Here for tonight for Great American Conference Volleyball, Dustin Goodno joining you here on the Northwestern Ranger Athletics YouTube channel. Good to be back inside Percival Fieldhouse tonight for Ranger Volleyball. First broadcast of the year coming up. And again, right around 7 o'clock tonight as Northwestern will take on nationally ranked Oklahoma Baptist here tonight. And uh, again, the second conference matchup of the season here for Northwestern. Oklahoma Baptist checks in in the latest ABCA coaches poll, ranking 18th on the year as they are 7-2 and two on the 2021 season. Again, we're going to get going here shortly. Our pregame show is going to be in right around 645 tonight. Again, first serve coming up right around 7. So stick with us here on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel and the Ranger Sports Network, KRDR.
The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Well, a good evening to you, Ranger Nation, as we welcome you live here inside Percival Fieldhouse on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University for tonight's Great American Conference volleyball matchup featuring the visitors from Shawnee, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Baptist Bison, and your Northwestern Rangers. Northwestern coming in tonight's matchup, 1-1 one one in Great American Conference play as they've opened the season, though, just 2-10 and ten to start here in the early going. On the other side, the visitors come in with a record of 1-1 one and one in conference play. 7-2 and two are the Bison so far this season. The Bison are also ranked 18th in the latest coaches poll this year. Hello, everybody. I'm Dustin Goodno. Welcome you to the broadcast flying solo tonight as I'll be missing my uh, color and partner, uh, color and commentator and partner tonight, uh, Olivia Andell, a.k.a. Pepper Brooks. Again, she is off on assignment this weekend, so we'll be missing her today and tomorrow. Uh, for Ranger Volleyball here inside Percival Fieldhouse. But it's good to be back with you. Uh, again, I know we're not out there on Classic Hits tonight, but we'll still be coming to you live again through the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel, which will happen again tonight and tomorrow at 1 o'clock as Northwestern will take on Bethel in a doubleheader again here tomorrow from Percival Fieldhouse. We are going to take a timeout, come back, as we will begin the E&J Financial pregame show. That is coming up next as you are listening to Ranger Volleyball, brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Alva State Bank and Trust Company prides itself on supporting our customers. For over 100 years, we've been part of this community. We invite you to stop by and learn more about the qualities that we display, like community involvement and great customer service. Call, stop by, or visit www.alvastatebank.com to open an account and let us show you what family banking is all about. We are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. We are right in the swing of football season in Alva, Oklahoma, and Holder Drug has everything you need for your tailgates this year. Whether you support Gold Bugs, Rangers, or both, Holder Drug has it all. Holder Drug also wants to remind you that fall is right around the corner. They have several new pieces of decor for your home for the new season. As always, the Fountain has daily specials available and offer delivery on your medication. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can easily be corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. That's 327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports all Ranger and Gold Bug activities. Whether you're purchasing a new home, renovating your existing home, or using the equity in your home for other needs, the home loan products at Community Bank has you covered. Stop by 1729 College Boulevard right here in Alba or call 580-327-5500 today to visit with one of their home loan experts and let them help you get started with your home needs today. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Do you still have a bank CD? This is Whitney Gum with ENJ Financial. Did you know there are other options that offer downside protection with the ability to generate much better returns? If you're unhappy with your CD rate, call our office today to schedule your complimentary review at 580-327-2552 or visit one of our offices in Woodward, Stillwater, Adair, or right here in Alva. And welcome back here inside Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Gano here with you as we begin the E&J Financial pregame show. Let's take a look at your latest Great American Conference standings for the sport of volleyball. Right now, again, Arkansas Tech is number one in the conference at uh, 3-0 in conference play. They're 9-3 overall. In fact, at one point, they were 3-3 in the season. But, uh, again, the Golden Suns have won their last six coming into tonight. Harding is also 3-0 in conference play. They're 7-3 overall. Harding has won five straight. Southwestern, again, one of the hotter teams. In fact, Southwestern had a rough start to the year, started 0-4. But since then, uh, again, the Bulldogs have won their last six. They're coming in at third and fourth. Southeastern, a team that Northwestern lost their first uh, Great American Conference matchup to here at home in five sets. They're 2-1 in conference play, sitting in fourth at 5-5 overall. Oklahoma Baptist, the opponent tonight, 1-1 in conference play. 
as the Bison are 7-2 overall this season. In six is East Central. They're 1-1 one one in conference play, 3-9 and nine overall. Northwestern, again, the Rangers 1-1 one one in conference play, just 2-10 to start the season, which, so, which we'll talk much more about. That is, again, uh, Rangers have played a very fairly difficult non-conference schedule, uh, again, before beginning Great American Conference play. Henderson State checks in at 8. They're 1-2 in conference play. They are 11-4 overall, though. However, the Reddies have dropped their last two. Arkansas Monticello, 1-2 in conference play, 6-8 overall. Wachita Baptist is 1-2 in conference play, 5-9 overall this season. Southern Nazarene, again, the first victory in conference play for the Rangers coming Again, earlier this week on Tuesday in Bethany, uh, Southern Nazarene 0-3 in conference play, 4-6 overall. In fact, the Crimson Storm have dropped three straight. And checking in last again in 12th place is the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders. They're 0-3 in conference play. They're 4-9 overall this season. And the Mule Riders have dropped their last two. That's, again, a look at your latest Great American Conference standings. We're going to take another timeout, come back, have more for you on the e j Financial pregame show coming up right after this. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel, the Ranger Sports Network. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Most people prefer honest, friendly, prompt service from local folks they can trust. Sure, it sounds simple, but that's not always what you get. At K&K Body Works in Alva, you'll receive just that. Expert service and collision repair from a business you can trust. Since 1958, K&K Body Works' goal is to make our auto body service as convenient and stress-free for our customers as possible. From minor repairs to major auto body work, they do every job with the highest level of professionalism. Get your free estimate today by visiting knkbodyworks.com or stop by in person at 301 Flynn Street right here in Alva. Don't be a risk with your home, farm, or business this year because of faulty wiring. Call the experts at Northwest Electric at 580-327-3201. Northwest Electric is a trusted name in the electrical industry and should be your choice locally for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, and Scott have over 100 years of combined electrical experience and been serving you beyond the call of duty for over 40 years. So stop by their showroom in the downtown square in Alva to browse for your electrical needs. Northwest Electric. Electric, where we don't do all the business, just yours. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in Western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse as we continue the E&J Financial pregame show. Again, uh, Ranger Volleyball team coming into this one just 2-10 uh, and ten so far in the season. Again, 1-1 one and one in Great American Conference play. However, when you look at uh, who they've played, it's been a tough road uh, for Northwestern to begin uh, the season. Again, they went up, down and played in a classic down at Angelo Stadium, ranked number one. Uh, again, it started the season number one in the polls. They were swept by Texas A&M Kingsville. Uh, they were defeated by Anderson College out of South Carolina, 3-1. to one. Defeated by number one Angelo State, 3-0. Lost to Western Colorado. Again, those games were on, both games on the fourth. Those first two were played on the third. Then they had a little bit of a break after the loss to Western Colorado. Came back and played St. Mary's, uh, University of St. Mary's again in Texas. That was back on September the 10th. Played again at Pittsburgh State. Uh, again on the 10th, we were swept in that one uh, 3-0 to zero as well. First win for the Ranger volleyball team was uh, you have to go all the way back to Truman University. Again, they swept Truman to pick up their first victory of the year back on September the 11th. Won at 25-13, 25-17, and 25-20. Turn around that same day, lost to uh, Sioux Falls University 3-0. Uh, were beaten soundly in those matches, 25-10. 25-15 in set two and three. They also lost here at home against a very tough opponent, Southeastern, a very much improved opponent here in the Great American Conference. If you'll remember right, last year, uh, a team in the spring that pushed Northwestern to the brink of elimination in the Great American Conference Tournament. Rangers wound up scoring 
Uh, you know, in the neighborhood of seven, eight straight points to come back and win that one in the fifth and final set. So, uh, again, that was a tough opponent here. And as the Rangers dropped that in five sets, they won the first set 25-8, come out and dominated, lost 25-18, 25-16, come back in the fourth set, won 25-22, and wound up losing in the fifth set 15-9 to to Southeastern. Then went on the road, had a five-day break, went on the road to Hayes, Kansas, took on Fort Hayes State. They were defeated 3-1. Uh, again, against Fort Hay, Fort Hay State. And, of course, uh, earlier this week on Tuesday, they picked up their first conference victory on the road against, a uh, again, a Southern Nazarene team that has been a, a team that Northwestern has gone back and forth with uh, so many years since joining the Great American Conference. It's been a good rivalry between the two, te two teams. But Northwestern went on the road to Bethany and uh, took care of the Crimson Storm in straight sets, won at 25-22, 25-18, and 25-22. On the other side for Oklahoma Baptist, of course, uh, again, the Bison 7-2, and 1-1 one and one in conference play. They opened the season getting swept by Winona State 3-0. Since that point, they won six straight matches, one of those against Tiffin, Hillsdale, Davenport in five sets, and then swept St. Edwards, Ferris State, and West Alabama before losing to Southwestern Oklahoma State 3-2. Again, lost that one in five sets. In fact, lost it 16-14, so a very close match against Southwestern. Then it gets most recently for Oklahoma Baptist. Uh, again, this was a match on Tuesday. They defeated East Central at home by sweeping the Tigers 3-0, 25-13, 25-17, and 25-16. Leading the team for Oklahoma Baptist in kills so far this year, well, they've got a number of players when you look at them. Malia Leatherland, again, a fantastic player uh, from a year ago. Tania Brown, another player who's a junior who's been a part of this team. Uh, again, she, she's got 87 kills. Leatherland has 96. Taryn Weber has 63. Avery Helmuth, again, who was a dominating factor last year for the Bison, has 71. So really being spread out when you look at it uh, as far as kills this year for the Bison, they've got 447 total kills to their opponents, 342. When you look at the numbers for Northwestern, again, 419 kills, 534 for their opponents. Northwestern right now is led by two players up front in kills, one of those being... A very impression, uh, impressive freshman from Yukon, Oklahoma, the 5'9 freshman, Addison Wimmer, who's averaging nearly three and a half, or right at three and a half kills per set, which is very impressive uh, to this point again for the young freshman. She's got 138 kills so far this year. Katie Honeycutt right behind her at 112. Honeycutt averaging nearly three kills per set. Courtney Russell with 46. Madison Dillinger, uh, again, average, has had, had 25 so far. Austin Pine with 26. So, more of a collective effort on the side for Oklahoma Baptist. Northwestern on the other side really dominated up front uh, with Addison Wimmer and Katie Honeycutt. When you look at some of the other numbers so far, assists per set for Northwestern averaging nearly 10%, while well, their opponents are averaging nearly 13. For Oklahoma Baptist, they're averaging nearly 13, while well, their opponents averaging just nine. Service aces this year, Northwestern with 40. They do have 65 service errors. Oklahoma Baptist with 47 service aces to 60 total service errors. Digs so far to this point for both teams. Northwestern with 557 digs to this point. They're averaging just over 14 digs per set, while Oklahoma Baptist a little bit ahead of Northwestern. As far as digs per set in that department, they have 483, but just over 15 digs per set. Of course, blocks, one of the strengths for Northwestern. Uh, again, a year ago, they've got 58 total team blocks on the season to Oklahoma Baptist. 72. But again, that's a kind of look at both teams. Numbers-wise, we're just under a minute before we get ready for first serve. Looking at the history between these two teams, Oklahoma Baptist has dominated the series. Uh, going all the way back to the first match, September 15th of 2015, they won the first five matches. Northwestern got their first victory in the series back on September the 12th of 2017, uh, or excuse me, November 2nd of 2017 as they won in five sets, 3-2. Picked up their second in 2018. So since then, though, Oklahoma Baptist has won four straight matches against Northwestern, 3-0, 3-1, 3-0. And, of course, uh, earlier this spring on March 9th in Shawnee, it was 3-2. Northwestern lost in five sets. So, again, it's 10-2 in favor of Oklahoma Baptist. Let's take a final timeout, come back, as we'll have the national anthem of the starting lineup coming up next as we put it close to the NJ Financial pregame show. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in northwest Oklahoma. 
Croft has been locally owned and operated for 36 years, and they offer a full line of award-winning brands like Chevy, Buick, and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come and see us right here in Alva. We're located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. And welcome back here inside Percival Fieldhouse. Is, uh, we're about ready to go for our national anthem. So we'll turn it over to our crowd, Mike, for you. Welcome to Percival Fieldhouse for tonight's contest between the Bison of Oklahoma Baptist and your Northwestern and Oklahoma State Rangers. A reminder that Northwestern Oklahoma State University, the Great American Conference and NCAA promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, or sexist comments or other intimidating words or actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of competition. We now ask that you stand and face the flag hanging high above center court for the playing our national anthem. And welcome back as we're going to turn things over now to our public address announcer, Mark Zatarazny, who will have your starting lineups. And now, starting lineups. First for the visiting Bison from Oklahoma Baptist. Number two, Tania Brown. Number four, Malia Leatherland. Number eight, Kaylin Ina. Number 14, Avery Helmuth. Number 18, Audrey Poupard. Number 19, Kaylee Buell. And at libero, number 10, Deanna Kiana Torillo. And now, the starting lineup for your Northwestern Rangers. A 5'10", redshirt sophomore from Brainerd, Minnesota, number three, Courtney Russell. A 5'10", freshman from El Paso, Texas, number four, Abigail Burns. A, a six-foot senior from Marquez, Texas, number five, Katie Honeycutt. A 5'10 red shirt junior from Aurora, Colorado, number seven, Raven Burns. A 5'9 freshman from Yukon, Oklahoma, number 10, Addison Wimmer. A 5'11 red shirt junior from Eureka, Kansas, number 22, Madison Dellinger. And serving at libero, a 5'10 sophomore from Goddard, Kansas, number 17, Tara Parks. The Rangers are led by head coach Fred Aubuchon and assisted by Courtney Cunningham. Again, appreciate uh, our public address announcer, Mark Zatarazny. Again, for your starting lineups as uh, we are about ready to go with first serve. Again, between Northwestern and Oklahoma Baptist. As you heard, 
the starting lineups, again, uh, introduced for both teams. We'll go over once more again for Oklahoma Baptist. Number two, Tania Brown. Number four, Malia Leatherman. Number eight, Kaylin Ina. Number 10, Diana Carranza Torrio. Avery Helmuth at number 14, number 18, Audrey Pupard, and number 19, Kaylee Buell. Again, uh, Bison coached by Anna Howell. Rangers starting lineup. Again, number three, Courtney Russell. Number four, Abigail Burns. Number five, Katie Honeycutt. Number seven, Raven Burns. Number 10, Addison Wimmer at Libero. Number 17, Tara Parks. And number 22, Madison Dillinger. Again, the Rangers will be serving right to left across. Well, I guess I would say normally your radio dial, but that's not the case, as you'll be looking uh, again from north to south with the camera behind. So Rangers, we'll say it like that. Rangers serving from north to south. Oklahoma Baptist will be serving from south to north. As Rangers will be in their home white with the red numbering and the red northwestern. Of course, Libero Terra Parks and the black top, black shorts. Again, the red northwestern, red numbering. Oklahoma Baptist in their green road uniforms with the white trim, white numbering, and white lettering across the front and the white numbering on the back. In the Libero, Diana Torrio should be in white tonight, it looks like. Again, with the black lettering. Sorry, serve for the Rangers. Number on 10, the number 10. So back to serve for Northwestern as we are ready to go. Will be number 10, Addison Wimmer. Wimmer tosses it up. Here's the serve received by Oklahoma Baptist as they will set far side. Leatherland on the attack. That's a dig from Parks. Now Wimmer on the attack just hits it over. Dug out that time by Buell. Now on the attack comes Oklahoma Baptist and it's a kill and a point for the Bison as they'll take an early 1-0 lead. Again, bear with me again tonight, folks. I'm kind of in football mode, first back to our first back, uh, volleyball broadcast of the year. So back to serve will be Malia Leatherwin. She'll toss it high, received by Northwestern. Keeping this alive will be Burns. Now on the attack comes Honeycutt. Dig that time, looked like by Torrio. Now on the attack comes Oklahoma Baptist. Dig by Honeycutt, Sat back for Honeycutt on the near side on the attack. Dug out again by Torrio. Now Baptist on the attack. Once again, Honeycutt on the attack. Dig by the Bison. Now on the attack comes Brown. Dig by Wimmer. They'll set. Now going over with it is Burns. Now the Bison on the attack, and that's going to be an attack error and a point for Northwestern. The attack error against Tania Brown, and we're tied at 1-1. One one. In our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by your friends at Community Bank here in Alva, Oklahoma. Here's the serve from Parks. Received from the Bison. That was Leatherwood. Now they'll set for Brown on the attack. Dig that time by Wimmer. Now back for Honeycutt. Near side on the attack is blocked. Good play at the net from Tania Brown as she'll pick up the block and the point for the Bison as they'll take an early 2-1 lead. Serve for the Bison, number 10, Deanna Torrio. So Deanna Torrio back to serve now for the Bison. Here's the serve from Torrio. Received from Honeycutt. Now they'll set back for Dillinger, and that one, they're going to say Dillinger hit the net, I believe, into it. So that'll be a point for the Bison off the air. Bison with an early 3-1 lead. To Rio again to serve. Here's the serve. Received by Wimmer. Burns sets far side. On the attack comes Northwestern. And Brown hit it into the net. And has hit too many. Actually, a double hit against the Bison. Well, that'll be a point for the Rangers. It's now 3-2. Checking in for the Rangers, number 11, Austin Pine. Austin Pine now going to check in. Abby Davis. Also in is Abby Davis. Early substitution from Coach Abishon. Back to serve is Abby Davis. Here's the serve from Davis. Received by Oklahoma Baptist. As they'll set. Leatherland on the attack. It's popped up by Dillinger. Kept alive. Parks now with it. Honeycutt goes over on the attack. And it lands in for a point and a kill. As it was looked like Leatherland who dove out for that. Could not get a hand on it. And it's a point for the Rangers. We're all tied at three. Back to serve once more is Abby Davis. Here's the serve from Davis. Just clips the top of the tape as it goes over as Weber. Now Brown. Brown launches it over, and it, that's going to be a point for the Rangers. 
So an error against the Bison. Back to serve again is Davis. Here's the serve. It was received by Weber. Now they'll set far side. Weber on the attack. And it's in for a kill and a point. And we're back all tied up at four. A good start to this one for both teams now. Coming in and serving for the Bison, number 13, Ryland Moore. Back to serve now for the Bison. Checking in, Ryland Moore, the 5'9 junior from Edmond, Oklahoma. As Moore is ready to go. Here's the left-handed serve, and that's a service error into the net. First of the night for the Bison. And that'll be a point for the Rangers. Checking in and serving for the Rangers, number 12, Maggie Peterson. End of the game now is the 5'6 senior from Wichita, Kansas, Maggie Peterson. As here's the serve. That one just clears the net. Now in the attack come the Bison. Dig from Peterson. Davis. Dillinger just tips this one over. Kept alive by Torrio. Now going over with it is Moore. Kept alive by the Rangers. Davis sets Wimmer on the attack. And that's going to be a point and a kill as it's deflected out of play on the far side. And it's now 6-4 to four Rangers. Early two-point lead for Northwestern. A good start here in the early going. It's the nationally ranked Bison. There's the serve. Received by Torrio. They'll set for side. Weber on the attack, and it lands in for a kill. Good placement there. For those of you looking at home, that was uh, just beyond the free throw line. So a point for the Bison at 6-5. Now serve for the Bison, number eight, Kalen Ina. So Kalen Ina, the sophomore from Grand Prairie, Texas, will go back to serve. And Rangers lead at 6-5. Here's the serve from Ina, received by Peterson. Davis will set far side on the attack. Comes the Rangers that time. That was Austin Pine. Torrio, now Leatherman on the attack dig from Parks. Good play there. Davis just slips it over. Kept alive by, I believe that was Ina. Now it's blocked by Northwestern. Now kept alive on the near side as it lands point out of play. Bison. And that's going to be a point for the Bison off the hands of Madison Dillinger. Back to serve, Kalen Ina. All tied at six, two straight points for the Bison. Here's the serve, received from Peterson. Davis sets Wimmer on the attack, and that one is out. Actually gonna say it was a point for Northwestern. They're gonna say it was touched by a Bison member, so Coach Al wants an explanation. Serve for the Rangers, number 22. That's a tough call, I didn't necessarily see that one, but again, my view I'm actually courtside. We're not up top like we were last year. A little bit tougher view this time as Dillinger with the serve. Received by Trujillo. Now on the attack come the Bison. That was Helmuth, and it lands in for a kill off the left hand of Peterson. And we're all tied up at seven. Back and forth we go between the two teams. Avery Helmuth back to serve. A 6'1 sophomore from Dallas had a fantastic freshman year for the Bison a year ago. Here's the serve. Just clips the top of the tape. Great serve by, or save by Peterson on the attack that time come Raven Burns and gets the kill. And a point for the Rangers, it's now 8-7. Checking in number four, Abigail Burns. Now back into the game is Abigail Burns as Austin Pines will check out along with Abby Davis. Here's the serve. Up alive with the Bison, they'll set near side on the attack and it's gonna be I believe an attack here it is. I think it hit the antenna or outside the antenna. So a point for Northwestern on the attack here. Here's the serve by Burns. Received by Trujillo. Now, Leatherland on the attack, and that's a kill perfectly placed as she went right around the block that time from Raven Burns and Courtney Russell. And it's now 9-8 Rangers on the Community Bank scoreboard. Haley Buell back to serve, the 5'9 senior from Ponder, Texas. Here's the serve from Buell. Now received by the Rangers, Tara Parks. Now Wimmer comes up on the attack and it's deflected out of play on the near side. That will be a kill and a point for Northwestern. Well, Wimmer took a big swing at that one. As Wimmer will go back to serve now. Here's the serve. See by the Bison, Leatherwin. Now will set far side for Brown off the attack. It was off the hands of Burns that lands back Point past Bison. the end line. 
and a point for the Bison. It's 10-9 Rangers. Check it in, number five, Karen Weber. Serving number four, Aaliyah Leatherland. Leatherland back to serve now. Right-handed serve from Leatherland. That's played by Wimmer. Now Burns to Raven. Burns tips it over the right hand. Nice diving save by Buell. They'll set far side for Weber. It's blocked back at Weather. Kept it alive now by North or by Poupard. Wimmer to Burns. Near side, honey cut on the attack, and it's a kill as it was deflected at the net. And then off the left hand that time, trying to keep it alive was Weber and could not. And it's 11 9 Rangers. As Tara Parks will go back to serve. Parks to Libero. Played by Leatherwin. Kept alive, Oklahoma Baptist. Weber tips it over the left hand. Hits the net back on the OBU side. And it's hit four times by the Bison. And it's a point for Northwestern. 12-9 Rangers. Tara Parks to serve once again. Played by the Bison off the serve. They'll set for Brown on the near side on the attack. Good dig that time. I believe that was Burns. And ended up landing on the OBU side. And once again, Brown, this one hits up in the ceiling. Parks keeps it alive. Now going over is Wimmer. Kept alive by the Bison. They'll set far side on the attack as Weber and just tips it over the outstretched well, hands of Dillinger as it lands in for a point. And it's 12-10 Rangers. Look defensively so though, Northwestern looking strong early. Getting to a lot of these loose balls as Diana Carranza Trujillo will go back to serve. Received from Parks. Abigail Burns, down to Dillinger, tips it over the right hand, kept alive by Weber. Now they'll set, left-handed, hit over there by Hellmuth. Now Honeycutt on the attack, dig for the Bison. Now they'll set for Brown on the attack. Did it land in? It did. That's a point for the Bison. That one really close, right in front of the Northwestern bench. As you can tell, the Ranger faithful not happy about that one. As Diana Trujillo back to serve. Here's the serve, played by Wimmer. Burns, far side on the attack that time was Courtney Russell. As the Bisons come back, left hand with Helmuth, kept alive by the Rangers. They all just touch it with one hand each, and it goes over. Helmuth again, good dig inside the end line, kept alive with the left hand. And the Rangers hit it a third time, and it's hit for a fourth time. But boy, the Rangers impressive that time was Abigail Burns keeping it alive near the scores table. Trujillo back to serve once more, but tied at 12. As here is the serve, gathered by Wimmer. Burns, Sats, Honeycutt comes up on the attack, dig for the Bison. It's our far side set for Weber on the attack. Good dig that time by Abigail Burns. Kept alive, Wimmer. Now Honeycutt on the attack, and it's going to be a point for the Bison. Bison. As I believe that was hit outside the antenna. And that'll be a point for the Bison, and the Bison have a 13-12 lead. And mainly the Rangers here in the first set, though. That's three straight for the Bison. Trujillo. Received from Weber. Burns back to Dillinger on the attack. Dig for the Bison. That was Trujillo. They'll set. Foreside Weber on the attack. And it's an attack here right Boy, into the net. Rangers. And we're now tied at 13. 13 all set. One here from Alva. Justin Goodnow here with you on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel. Good to be back doing volleyball here tonight. As Abby Davis with the serve, played by the Bison. As Buell will set, now for Brown off the attack. It was deflected out by Boy, Honeycutt Bison. on the near side as it lands out of play. It'll be a point for the Bison. And, and neither team really been able to gain much control here in the first set. I think the largest lead has been maybe two. Left-handed Ryland Moore will go back to serve now. Moore ready to go. Here's the left-handed serve. Played by Parks. Kept alive by Davis. Now coming up on the attack is Honeycutt, who just tips this one over and it lands in as a good effort from Ryland Moore. Dove out to try and get to it, but barely got a hand on it. And that's going to be a kill and a point for the Rangers. As Maggie Peterson will go back to serve. All tied at 14. Serve from Peterson, played by the Bison. That was Leatherland. Now on the attack comes the Bison, dig from Parks. Davis, now Wimmer on the attack. Off the hands that time, Leatherland. Trujillo, 
Now Leatherland is able to get it over. Good save there defensively. Peterson to Davis. Now to Wimmer again off the attack, and it's a rocket hit that time. And not able to handle it was Taryn Weber. And it's a kill and a point for the Rangers, and it's 15-14. Back to serve is Maggie Peterson. They'll serve once more, played by Trujillo. Now they'll set Leatherland, just tipping it over the right hand. Actually, that was Avery Helmuth. And a point for the Bison over the outstretched hands of the Rangers. All square at 15. Serving for the Bison, number eight, Kayla Nina. As back to serve will be Kayla Nina. Crowd still filing in. A good one here tonight, side personal field house. Here's the serve from Ida. Gathered by Peterson. Davis sets far side. Wimmer on the attack. Kept alive by Trujillo. Now they go set far side. That's uh, Leatherland. And it's going to be an attack error against the Bison and a point for the Rangers. Serve for the Rangers, number 22, Madison Dillinger. So Madison Dillinger will go back to serve. 16 15 Northwestern. Here's the serve. Gathered by Trujillo. They'll set near side on the attack. Comes, I believe that was Helmuth. Kept alive by the Rangers and then not Boy, able to get it over, though, as Dillinger did a good job of keeping alive, but that would have been the fourth hit. 16-16. Avery Helmuth and the 6-1 sophomore from Dallas will serve. Here's the serve, handled by Peterson. Keeping alive is Wimmer. Far side on the attack that time from Northwestern was Austin Pine, and it's a point and a kill for the Rangers. I'm not sure what happened there defensively, and again, it's where, where the officials locate. It's a tough look for, for, the for my broadcast being here on the floor, so you guys have got a much better look at what happens. Uh, again, through the cameras, that is a service error against Abigail Burns. First of the night for Northwestern. Serve Both teams won the service era points as Kaylee Buell back to serve. Tied at 17. Here's the serve from Buell. Handled by Parks. Burns. Now to Raven. Burns tips it over the right hand. Kept alive with the Bison. Now on the attack comes Leatherland. Dig by Peterson. Burns keeps it alive. Now Wimber just has to go over with it. Dig from Trujillo. Now they'll set near side for Brown on the attack. Good dig from Abigail Burns. Peterson. Now on the attack comes Russell. Dig from Buell. Once again, Brown on the attack. Good dig again by Burns. This one up high. Parks keeps it alive. Now Russell on the attack because it's an attack here. Oh, when that one time it looked like it just kind of hit the bottom of her, looked like of her palm and went straight down. And Bison now lead at 18-17 on the attack here. Haley Buell back to serve. Here it is, just kind of pushes this one over. Burns, now coming up, Wimmer on the attack is blocked, hit off the right hand of Raven Burns. And a point for the Bison. Oh. It's down 19-17, Oklahoma Baptist. Coach Avishan wants a timeout, we will join him. Here in set number one from Alva, 1917, Oklahoma Baptist leads it on the community bank scoreboard. This is Ranger Volleyball, brought to you by Holder Drug, here on the Ranger Sports Network. Myth. All cell phone providers have the same coverage. Fact. Cell phone carriers are not created equal. Most carriers put their focus on national and metro areas while employees at Pioneer Cellular put their focus on you. At Pioneer Cellular, they have over 400 cell phone towers that are located where you need them the most. You are covered and that's the truth. Call today, 800-641-2732 or visit gopioneer.com to learn more about the Pioneer Cellular coverage. Are you craving a delicious breakfast to start your day off right? Then 818 Diner in Alva is the place for you. 818 Diner serves all your favorite breakfast items like the 818 Combo, pancakes, plus chicken and waffles. Swing through their drive through for a quick breakfast sandwich, biscuits and gravy, delicious hot and chocolate-fed lattes, or other espresso drinks. Open every day except Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So come by and see us at 818 Oklahoma Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodno here with you again tonight for Ranger Volleyball. It's 1917 Oklahoma Baptist leading it here in set number one. And Rangers trying to take down nationally ranked opponent. And the Bison coming in ranked 18th in the latest polls. As Buell will serve out of the timeout, handled by Parks. 
Abigail Burns, far side to Wimmer on the attack, and it's an attack air back past the end line as Wimmer just put a little too much mustard on that one. And it's now 20 to 17 Bison. This is their largest lead here in set number one. Here's the serve. Received by Parks. Burns now near side to Wimmer again is blocked. Went a good block and a play at the net by Audrey Poupard. And it's 21-17. And Coach Abishan wants another timeout. We'll join him again. 21-17, your score on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center wishes the Northwestern Rangers the best of luck in this year's football season. We know injuries sometimes happen, and we want you to remember that Integris Health offers top-notch orthopedic care with Dr. Brett Fry located in Enid. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center provides leading-edge treatment to keep you moving and get you back in the game. For your orthopedic needs, insist on Integris. Are you looking for a healthy, tasty energy boost or a delicious protein shake that tastes like ice cream? Come into Northwest Nutrition and give us a try or ask us about our 24 line. It's what all the athletes in the NFL are using and it's NSF certified. Northwest Nutrition is located across the street from Northwestern Oklahoma State next to the BCM. Students also get a daily discount. In a hurry? You can text your order to 580-732-0796. Good luck this year to all our Rangers and Lady Rangers from everyone at Northwest Nutrition. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse. 21-17 is your score. Kaylee Buell to serve for the Bison. So here's the serve. Played by Parks. Abigail Burns down to Ravenberg. Sips it over the right hand. And that is going to be a point and a kill. As that was a kind of a bad touch from Audrey Poupard. Nobody from Oklahoma Bats was able to get to that one. So back to serve will be Addison Wimmer. Rangers trail by three. Kept alive by Buell. Now Brown on the attack, and that was off the right hand as it goes back past the inline by Abigail Burns. Off the initial touch, and it's 22-18. Bison three points away from closing out the first set. Leah Leatherland back to serve now for Oklahoma Baptist. Here's the serve from Leatherland. Played by Parks. That's near the net. Kept alive now with the left hand by Honeycutt. Good play there. That was nearly an error as Brown comes up on the attack and off the left hand. That time as Wimmer dove out to get it. Honeycutt One couldn't get it off the left hand, and it's now 23-18. Leatherland back to serve once more. Here's the serve. Handled by Parks. Abigail Burns far side for Honeycutt on the attack is blocked, and it lands in for a point. Boy, that was Tania Brown, and it's now... Set point to the Bison, it's 24-18. Leatherland to serve once more. Chance to close it out here. Here's the serve. Parks to Burns, down to Raven Burns on the attack and it's a kill and a point for Raven Burns. Nicely done there. Rangers will have to score five straight though to keep this going. And you have to win by two, at least two. Here's the serve. Now far side, Weber on the attack, and it lands in for a kill. That one right over the top of the defense. And set number one is going to go to Oklahoma Baptist. 25-19 on the Community Bank School Board as set number one goes to the Bison. We'll come back right after this. You're listening to Ranger Volleyball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company prides itself on supporting our customers. For over 100 years, we've been part of this community. We invite you to stop by and learn more about the qualities that we display, like community involvement and great customer service. Call, stop by, or visit www.albastatebank.com to open an account and let us show you what family banking is all about. We are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. We are right in the swing of football season in Alva, Oklahoma, and Holder Drug has everything you need for your tailgates this year. Whether you support Gold Bugs, Rangers, or both, Holder Drug has it all. Holder Drug also wants to remind you that fall is right around the corner. They have several new pieces of decor for your home for the new season. As always, the Fountain has daily specials available and offer delivery on your medication. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. 
Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can easily be corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. That's 327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports all Ranger and Gold Bug activities. Whether you're purchasing a new home, renovating your existing home, or using the equity in your home for other needs, the home loan products at Community Bank has you covered. Stop by 1729 College Boulevard right here in Alba or call 580-327-5500 today to visit with one of their home loan experts and let them help you get started with your home needs today. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Well, welcome back here inside Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Cano here with you again for Ranger Volleyball tonight as the first set goes in favor of the 18th ranked Bison. And we told you Rangers have only beaten the Bison twice. Coming into the matchup here tonight as uh, we are about ready to go for set number two. And boy, and again, that one was really back and forth. At one point it really changed when it was 17-17. The Bison got that four point lead Coach Abishan called a couple timeouts, and the Bison really just kind of cruised to end up winning that first set from Northwestern. So we're ready to go for set number two. And Rangers serving right to left from my broadcast position, north to south for yours. Bison left to right, south to north. Again, good to be back inside Personal Field. I do want to remind you tomorrow, I know the uh, Ranger Volleyball team has a double header tomorrow. Again, Northwestern will be taking on Bethel College at 1, Central Christian at 3. We will have coverage on the Athletics YouTube channel again at 1 o'clock. Uh, of course, we will not have the game at 3. We've got Ranger football tomorrow. Again, it's family day, so a big weekend for all of us here in Alba as Northwestern taking on East Central tomorrow. Rangers again, looking for their first victory of the year. Ready to go here in set number two. Malia Leatherwin back to serve. As here is the serve. Played from Honeycutt. Now kept alive by Wimmer. Parks is just going to have to hit this one over. Brown with the dig. Now back to Brown. Tips it over. Kept alive with the right hand by Honeycutt. Now left-handed save that time by Burns. Raven Burns will hit it over. Now Brown on the attack for the Bison. is blocked. Good deflection there by Raven Burns. Now coming up on the attack was Poupard. Parks keeps it alive. Now Honeycutt has to hit it over the right hand and actually hits the antenna. And it's going to be a point for the Bison. In the first set, 14 total kills for the Bison. Six attack errors. Rangers had 12 kills, but 10 attack errors and 44 total attacks. Bison had 41 total attacks. Leatherland with the serve. Honeycutt to Burns. Now far side. Russell as she has the attack One error right into the net. And the Bison now lead at 2-0. Leading the Bison in attacks was Tania Brown with five. Rangers led by Addison Wimmer with four. As we get a quick stoppage of play, we're ready to get back to it, it looks like. Leah Leatherwin to serve. There's the serve gathered that time by Honeycutt to Burns. Down to Raven Burns, and it's blocked right there at the net by Poupard. And it's an early 3-0 Bison lead. I think defensively, the Bison have been strong, picking up blocks as Poupard picks up her fifth. Tania Brown also has five. Five total team blocks. Leatherwin with the serve. Played by Honeycutt. Abigail Burns back to Honeycutt. It's blocked, and it's going to be nearly oh, landed goodness. play, but it lands just outside uh, the red line here on the near side, and Rangers are on the board here in the second set. It's 3-1. Dara Parks to serve. Here's the serve. Played by, that time, Trujillo. On the attack come the Bison. Dig from Honeycutt. Burns back to Honeycutt on the attack. Hits it over the right hand. Good dig that time from Weber. Now back to Brown on the attack. Off the fingertips that time of Dillinger. And diving out was Russell. Couldn't get to it as it lands on the court. And it's now a 4-1 Bison. So for the Bison, number two, Deanna Torrio. So Deanna Carranza Torrio back to serve. In the libero for the Bison. Here's the serve. 
Handled by Honeycutt. Abigail Burns, Honeycutt now from the attack line. Dig that time from Lelo and just inside the end line. Now Weber on the attack. Hit that one through the block. Dig from Parks. Now on the far side, Russell on the attack. Dig from Leatherwood. Now back on the attack comes Hellmuth. Good dig from Parks. Burns back to Honeycutt on the attack. Kept alive by the Bison, and we're going to get a stoppage and a whistle. And it's going to be a point for the Rangers. Not sure exactly what happened there. They blew the whistle on it. That's point for Northwestern. As Abby Davis back to serve for Northwestern now. It's 4-2. Played by Leatherwin. Kept alive that time by Buell. Now in the attack comes the Bison. That was Leatherwin. And that one just clips the net and fell in. So it's a kill for Leatherwin and a point for the Bison. It's 5-2. Oklahoma Baptist. Rylan Moore back to serve for the Bison. Here's the serve from the junior. It's controlled by Wimmer. Davis now coming up on the attack. That time for Northwestern was Austin Pine. And it's going to be a point for the Bison as Rangers into the net. Six to two Bison now. Brown not happy, he doesn't like it. Ryland Moore to serve once more. Here's the serve. Played by Wimmer. Davis, far side on the attack comes. Honeycutt and lands in for a kill just inside the end line. Boy, well done by Northwestern as they pick up a much needed point and it's now 6-3 Bison. As we see the senior Maggie Peterson in to serve. Here's the serve, controlled by Carrillo. Now Buell, far side, Weber on the attack, and that's an attack error, I believe. Yes, it is, as she clipped the antenna. That's now 6-4 Bison. So back-to-back -back point for the Rangers. And Northwestern within two. Serve again from Peterson, gathered by Torrijo. Now on the attack, that time comes Avery Helmuth. Point Bison. As it's now 7-4. Here in the second set, Bison leading it by three. Check it out and serve for the Bison. Number eight, Kaylin Ina. Kaylin Ina back to serve now for the Bison. Oklahoma Baptist leading seven to four on the Community Bank scoreboard. Here's the serve from Ina. Peterson. Now Davis, now on the attack that time for Northwestern was Pine, kept alive by the Bison. Trujillo, not a leather one on the attack, and that's an attack here as it lands on the far side out of play. It lands just outside the Northwestern logo here on the floor. It's 7-5. So Madison Dillinger back to serve for Northwestern. Here's the serve. Received by Trujillo. Now they set. That time on the attack comes Hillmuth. And that one kind of hit through the block as it lands on the floor. And a point for the Bison. Serve for the Bison, number 14, Avery Hillmuth. Avery Hillmuth. Back to serve for the Bison now. Helmuth again with three kills already. Here's the serve. Wimmer. Now back to Wimmer from Davis on the set. And it's an attack and kill. It's off the deflection. And a point for the Rangers. It's now 8-6. Rangers within two. Serve for the Rangers, number four. As the Bison again have controlled the second set for the most part. Led it all the way throughout as Abigail Burns with the serve. Received from Brown. Now they set back Helmuth. That's a dig from Parks. Now Burns. Now on the attack comes Russell. Off the hands that time as it tried to be stopped by Ryland Moore, but Russell hit it through it. As it's now 8 7. As Courtney Russell picks up her second kill of the evening. Brown receives it. Now Buell, far side, Leatherland on the attack and just barely tipped that one over the outstretched hands of Raven Burns and Courtney Russell as it lands in for a point. It's now 9-7. Back to serve now, Kaylee Buell. Here's the serve from Buell. Parks. Now Burns on the attack comes Wimmer. Dig from Ina. Set far side, Leatherland, and a strong side attack and kill that point time from Leatherland. And it's a point for the Bison, it's now 10-7. 
Yule with the serve. Played by Parks. Abigail Burns off the touch. Now Wimmer on the attack. Dig from Ina. Far side, now on the strong side, attack. And as it lands in for a kill and a point, that time for Malia Leatherwin. And it's now 11-7, largest lead here in the second set for Oklahoma Baptist. Yule to serve once more. Here it is. Played by Parks, Burns now to Raven Burns on the attack. Kept alive by the Bison, and as it lands over to the Bison bench, that'll be a point for the Rangers. And a kill for Raven Burns. So for the Rangers, number 10, Addison Wimmer. Freshman Addison Wimmer back to serve for Northwestern now. Here's the serve from Wimmer. And that's a service error into the net, the second of the night. And that's an easy point for the Bison there off the mistake. It's now 12-8. Number four, Malia Leatherland. So Malia Leatherland back to serve now. 12-8 Bison on the Community Bank School Board. Second set, they lead one set, zero. Honeycutt to Burns. Now to Raven. Burns on the attack. That one deflected up high. Kept alive by Leatherland now. And now hitting it over. That time was Buell. Abigail Burns to Raven. Burns. It's blocked. Kept alive by Parks with the left hand. Diving stop by Wimmer. Abigail Burns goes over with it. Good rally here to this point. Is tipping that one over with the right hand. And the kill is Taryn Weber over the outstretched hands of Burns and Russell. Boy, we've seen that many times tonight by the Bison. Rangers go up for the block, and boy, the Bison just play it perfectly. Leatherland to serve once more. Honeycutt, Abigail Burns, back to Honeycutt now on the attack. Big from Torrejillo. Now here's a play at the net, hit over the right hand by Hillmuth. Now kept alive by Wimmer. Over with it is Honeycutt, Trujillo. Now back to Brown on the attack as it lands in perfectly right in the middle of about three or four Rangers. Parks dove out to try and get it, but could not get a hand on it. And it's now 14 to eight, Bison. And Coach Abishan wants a timeout. We will join him. One set to zero, Oklahoma Baptist leads it. They also lead 14 to eight here in the second set on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Ranger Volleyball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Do you still have a bank CD? This is Whitney Gum with ENJ Financial. Did you know there are other options that offer downside protection with the ability to generate much better returns? If you're unhappy with your CD rate, call our office today to schedule your complimentary review at 580-327-2552 or visit one of our offices in Woodward, Stillwater, Adair, or right here in Alva. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Welcome back out of our timeout. Dustin Goodno here with you again for Ranger Volleyball tonight in a nice crowd here inside Percival Fieldhouse. I'm sure we got a number of people listening and watching out there on the Athle uh, Ranger Athletics YouTube channel as well. A nationally ranked opponent here inside Percival Fieldhouse tonight. They may need to start these students. Makes make a little noise here tonight. As Rangers trail at 14 to 8 here in the second set. Here's the serve from Leatherwin, gathered by Honeycutt. Burns now back to Honeycutt here on the strong side. Off the attack, and it's a kill and a point for Katie Honeycutt. As that was just off the left hand of from Tania Brown. 14-9, Rangers trail by five. Tara Parks to serve the libero. That's played by Leatherwin. They'll set now here on the weak side to Brown, and that goes off the right hand that time of Courtney Russell, who tried for the dig but couldn't handle it. And it's 15-9. Tania Brown is in our stats. Slowly but surely updating. He's got to be right around 10 kills by now. Diana Trujillo back to serve. Here's the serve. Played by Honeycutt to Burns. Now back to Honeycutt off the attack. From the strong side, it's dug out by the Bison. Now Weber with the attack. And that one's going to be off the right hand as Wimmer dove out to get it. And that one lands in front of the Ranger bench, and it's now 16-9. All Bison here in the second set. Largest lead of the entire match. Serve from Trujillo. Honeycutt 
to Burns. Now to Dillinger, and that one's blocked at the net by Avery Helmuth. And a point for the Bison. So Dillinger turned away that time at the net by Helmuth. And it's 17-9, an eight-point lead for the Bison. And Coach Abishon wants another timeout. We'll take it as well. 17-9, the score on the Community Bank School Board here in the second set. Oklahoma Baptist leads. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network. Most people prefer honest, friendly, prompt service from local folks they can trust. Sure, it sounds simple, but that's not always what you get. At K&K Body Works in Alva, you'll receive just that. Expert service and collision repair from a business you can trust. Since 1958, K&K Body Works' goal is to make our auto body service as convenient and stress-free for our customers as possible. From minor repairs to major auto body work, they do every job with the highest level of professionalism. Get your free estimate today by visiting kandkbodyworks.com or stop by in person at 301 Flynn Street right here in Alva. Don't be at risk with your home, farm, or business this year because of faulty wiring. Call the experts at Northwest Electric at 580-327-3201. Northwest Electric is a trusted name in the electrical industry and should be your choice locally for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, and Scott have over 100 years of combined electrical experience and been serving you beyond the call of duty for over 40 years. So stop by their showroom in the downtown square in Alva to browse for your electrical needs. Northwest Electric. Electric, where we don't do all the business, just yours. Welcome back out of the timeout. 17-9, Bison leading it. As again, Trujillo back to serve. Here's the serve, handled by Wimmer. Burns, now weak side attack that time from Russell. And yeah, that's going to be a point and a kill off the deflection from Oklahoma Baptist. Rangers really desperately needed the point there. It's now 17-10. Serve for the Rangers, number 14, Abby Davis. Abby Davis now to serve for the Rangers. Rangers need to go on a run here. Here is the serve from Davis. And that is a service ace for Abby Davis. Abby Davis. And trying to get to that one, it looked like, was number three, Macy Lankford. Rangers' first service ace of the evening. It's now 17-11, back-to-back points. Here's the serve from Davis. Now Lankford receives it. Buell, now on the attack that time was Helmuth. It was blocked by the Rangers. Good play at the net. Now Weber. And she'll throw this one over. Kept alive by Wimmer. Now Honeycutt on the attack. Lands in for the kill. As that went right between the two defenders. As that was Helmuth and Brown. Neither player able to get a hand on it. And it's 17-12. Three straight point for Northwestern. Davis to serve again. Here's the serve. Lankford. Buell, now on the attack comes Weber, off the right hand of Park as it lands back past point the end line, and a point for the Bison, and they'll go back to serve. Eighteen, twelve, Bison leading it. Rylan Moore checking in now as Moore will go back to serve. Here's the serve. Played by Wimmer. Davis now will set on the attack comes Pine. Dug out by Trujillo. Now far side on the attack that time was Weber. Kept alive by the Rangers. Now on the attack is Wimmer. Dig by the Bison. Now flipping this one over was Buell. Rangers hit it back over. Then it's hit back over by the Bison as it lands in the right corner for a point as Wimmer could not get to that one. And a point for the Bison. 19-12. Rangers trailing it by seven. Here's the serve from Moore. Played by Wimmer. Davis. Now on the attack comes Honeycutt. Deflected. Now hit over by Trujillo. And now with Helmuth with it over. Now Wimmer sets up Honeycutt. Here's a play at the net. Hit over by Dillinger right at the net. As Helmuth couldn't get to that one. And it's a point for Northwestern. Rangers trail by six. 19-13. Maggie Peterson will go back to serve. Here's the serve. Played by the Bison. Buell will set. Weber on the attack with a left hand. Good dig from Wimmer. Davis, far side on the attack that time was Austin Pine. Oklahoma Baptist with a possession. Now on the attack come the Bison. That's a kill and a point. And I believe that was Kaylee Buell. With the weak side attack and kill. 
And it's 20 to 13 as Kaylin Ida back to serve. Now for the Bison, it's 20 13. Here's the serve from Ina. Received from Parks. Davis, now Dillinger tips this one over the right hand. Careful lab with the Bison. Buell sets Helmuth on the attack. Good dig from Parks. Now on the attack comes Pine, and that's an attack here as it lands out of play on the near one side. Bison. And it's 21-13. Bison four points away from being up two sets to zero. Kaylin Ida to serve once more. Here's the serve. Received from Parks. Davis now to Wimmer on the attack. Off the hands that time of Moore as it lands in for a point and a kill. Boy, is a uh, good Sir, kill from Wimmer. That would add some heat on it. As Moore could, barely could handle it. It's 21-14. Now Madison Dillinger back to serve. So Dillinger back to serve. Rangers again trailing by seven, 21-14. Here's the serve. And it lands in a service ace for Madison Dillinger that time as the Bison all kind of looked at that one. That was Rylan Moore who was back there near the end line as she let it go and the Rangers took advantage. 21-15. Serve again from Dillinger. Ina. Buell. Now will set. Leatherland on the attack. It's a good block by Burns. Bison still with the possession. And now here is a attack and it's going to be a kill as it lands on the near side from Avery Helmia. And it's 22-15. Avery Helmuth back to serve. Here's Helmuth. Barks now flipping it over as Davis. Good play that time, but Helmuth ready for it. Now on the attack comes Leto, and that one right off the face of Wimmer that time. And it's a point for the Bison off the kill. And it's 23-15. Avery Helmuth back to serve again. Here's the serve, played by Peterson. Davis, now to Raven, Burns on the attack. Get up high, now Higgett over the left hand, that time was Buell, dig from Parks. Now they set up Wimmer off the attack, off the deflection, dig from Ina. Now Bison on the attack, and that's a kill and a point. As I believe that time on the kill was Andre Poupard. Set point for the Bison here in the second set, 24-15. Been all OBU. Here's the serve, played by Peterson. Davis, now on the attack that time was Pine, and it's a kill as it lands in just inside the end line. Nice placement from Austin Pine in that back right corner, and it's 24 16. The Rangers need a string of eight points to stay in this one. As Abigail Burns with the serve, played by Ina. Now they'll set up on the attack, and it's a kill and a point for Audrey Poupard. And that is going to do it for the second set as the Bison are going to take the second set 25-16 to on the Community Bank scoreboard. They now lead it two sets to zero. Set number three coming up next. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft has been locally owned and operated for 36 years, and they offer a full line of award-winning brands like Chevy, Buick, and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come and see us right here in Alva. We're located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Myth, all cell phone providers have the same coverage. Fact, 
Cell phone carriers are not created equal. Most carriers put their focus on national and metro areas, while employees at Pioneer Cellular put their focus on you. At Pioneer Cellular, they have over 400 cell phone towers that are located where you need them the most. You are covered, and that's the truth. Call today, 800-641-2732, or visit GoPioneer.com to learn more about the Pioneer Cellular coverage. Are you craving a delicious breakfast to start your day off right? Then 818 Diner in Alva is the place for you. 818 Diner serves all your favorite breakfast items like the 818 Combo, pancakes, plus chicken and waffles. Swing through their drive through for a quick breakfast sandwich, biscuits and gravy, delicious hot and chocolate-fed lattes, or other espresso drinks. Open every day except Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So come by and see us at 818 Oklahoma Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse. Dustin Gano here with you again for Ranger Volleyball tonight as we take a look at your statistics through the first two sets. Right now, Tania Brown leading the Bison with eight kills, six from Leah Leatherwin, seven from Taryn Weber, and six from Avery Helmuth. In the second set, 18 kills to just two attack errors. Very efficient with the Bison uh, again in the second set. Rangers had 11 kills to just six total attack errors. Uh, again, a 41 total attacks, just 33 total attacks for the Bison. To this point, the Bison have seven total team blocks. They've got 12 altogether, though. Six from Tania Brown, four from Helmuth, and two from Ryan Lenore. Very impressive defensively, the Bison been near the net. And this is the surprising statistic of the night, at least to me. Uh, again, Rangers, zero total blocks tonight. Uh, again, no total, no total team blocks, no blocks from any of the players tonight for Northwestern. They are letting kills tonight by Katie Honeycutt with nine, six from Addison Wimmer, and three from Raven Burns, two from Austin Pine, two from Courtney Russell, and one from Abigail Burns. Leading the team in digs tonight, eight for Tara Parks. On the other side, nine from Audrey Poupard. Actually, Poupard in second behind Diana Carranza Trujillo. So we are headed to the third set. Should Oklahoma Baptist win, that would do it for the night. Rangers have, uh, again, have got to win the next two sets to force a fifth and final set. So Addison Wimmer will serve. Leave the Rangers can get off to a good start here in the third set. Here's the serve from Wimmer. Played by Ina. Now we're underway. Brown on the attack, and it's a kill. It's off the deflection that time as she hit it through the block from Raven Burns. As Abigail Burns got a hand on it, but it lands out of play. And the Bison take an early 1-0 lead. Number four, Leah Leatherman back to serve now. Here's the serve. Played by Honeycutt. Abigail Burns to Raven Burns on the attack, and it's an attack error as it lands out of play. And it's going to be a point for the Bison. As the 18th attack error of the evening, excuse me, 17th for the Rangers. Another one with the serve again. Received by Honeycutt. Abigail Burns on the attack come Northwestern that time. It was Courtney Russell. Bison now with it. On the attack comes Weber, and it's an attack error past the end line. Point for the Rangers. And that's just the ninth attack error of the night against the Bison. Libero, Tara Parks back to serve. Scores 2-1 to one here in the third set. Oklahoma Baptist leading it two sets to zero. Here's the serve. Parks. Now Brown on the attack off the deflection, kept alive by Wimmer. Now Dillinger tried to tip it over the right hand, and it was blocked and point sent back Bison. down by Poupard. And a point for the Bison as Poupard picks up another block. I believe that is her second of the evening. So, Diana Trujillo back to serve. Rio with the serve. Now on the attack comes Russell, and that one off the dig goes into the net. As Courtney Russell will pick up the kill. Russell has her third. It's now three to two. And keep in mind, we'll be back for Ranger Volleyball tomorrow at one o'clock. And six o'clock for Ranger football. Myself and Brandon Brinkley joining me tomorrow. Looking forward to that as Matt Ader will be handing PA duties for family days. Here's the serve from Davis. See by Leatherwin. Now Brown will come up on the attack as it lands in. Perfectly placed right over the head of Tara Parks. Wimmer couldn't get to it in the back right corner. And the Bison take a 4-2 lead. 
Rylan Moore will go back to serve now. Here's the left-handed serve from Moore. Played from Wimmer. Davis, far side Honeycutt on the attack. And that is a dig from Moore, and it's going to be a point for Northwestern. Point Rangers. Serve from the Rangers, number 12, Maggie Peterson. So Maggie Peterson to serve now. It's 4-3 Bison. Rangers trying to tie it up. Played by Trujillo. Now on the attack comes Weber, dig by Parks. Kept alive by Davis. Tips that over, does Wimmer with the right hand. Now Buell with the left hand is over. And that one's hit all the way back past the end line off the left hand. And then Maggie Peterson tried to dive out and keep it alive, but couldn't get to it. And that's a point for the Bison. So for the Bison, number eight, Kaylin Ina. So Kaylin Ina back to serve now. Here's the serve from Ina. Played by Peterson. Davis, now Wimmer on the attack. Kept alive by Ina. Now on the attack comes Helmuth. And a good dig from Peterson that time. Davis kept it alive and then nobody else. Actually, Parks hit it up, but that was the third hit. One more would have been four, too many. And it's now 6-3 Bison. Ina will serve once more. Again, no service aces tonight for the Bison. You have one service here. Played from Parks, Davis. Now Dillinger on the attack off the hands of Trujillo. And that one lands in for a point and a kill from Madison Dillinger. As Rangers now trail it, 6-4. Here's the serve from Dillinger, played by Torrio. Now Weber on the attack, that one's deflected, good block over there on that right side. I believe that was Austin Pine. Now the Rangers have it, on the attack comes Wimmer, and it's a point for the Bison. I think that was, yeah, I think it was hit outside the antenna. That would be my only guess. Serve for the Bison, number 14, Avery I don't think Wimmer liked the call. Parks is gonna come over and talk with the official now. My guess is, is it was in a, out, outside the antenna, but I'm not 100% sure. See if we can't listen in real quick. Now they're going to stick with the calls. It's 7 to 4 Bison. Well, that's a tough break for the Rangers there. Avery Helmuth back to serve. Here's the serve. Received from Wimmer. Davis. Now far side, Pine on the attack, deflected up in the air. Helmuth keeps it alive. Now Buell to Leatherland on the attack. Good dig from Parks. Wimmer, far side, Pine on the attack. Is that an attack error back past the end line? Point for the Bison. The Rangers made a couple of good defensive stops, but we well, got the attack they wanted. Pine just a little too hard with it. Helmuth again, back to serve. Here it is. Played by Peterson. Davis, now coming up on the attack is Wimmer. It's blocked, kept alive by Peterson. Off the left hand of Pine as it lands out of play. And a point for the Bison. And again, that's just a good block up front. The front line of Buell, Poupard. Been very good tonight for Oklahoma Baptist. It's now 9-4. Helmuth with the serve. And that's going to be a service ace as it goes off the hands of Peterson. Lands in the stands to my right. And Coach Amishan wants a timeout. We will take it. 10 to 4 on the Community Bank scoreboard. Rangers trailing it to the Bison. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center wishes the Northwestern Rangers the best of luck in this year's football season. We know injuries sometimes happen, and we want you to remember that Integris Health offers top notch orthopedic care with Dr. Brett Fry, located in Enid. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center provides leading edge treatment to keep you moving and get you back in the game. For your orthopedic needs, insist on Integris.
Are you looking for a healthy, tasty energy boost or a delicious protein shake that tastes like ice cream? Come into Northwest Nutrition and give us a try or ask us about our 24 line. It's what all the athletes in the NFL are using and it's NSF certified. Northwest Nutrition is located across the street from Northwestern Oklahoma State next to the BCM. Students also get a daily discount. In a hurry? You can text your order to 580-732-0796. Good luck this year to all our Rangers and Lady Rangers from everyone at Northwest Nutrition. Welcome back inside Personal Field House. Dustin Gano here with you again as we are in the third set tonight. Again, Bison leading it two sets to zero. It's 10 to four. Oklahoma Baptist here in the third set as the Bison trying to close it out and finish off the Rangers 3-0. Keep in mind, Rangers back in action tomorrow at one o'clock against Bethel College. Here's the serve, kept alive by Raven Burns. Now Maggie Peterson has to hit it over. Dig that time it looked like from Pupar. Now over with the right hand is a leather one. Rangers keep it alive though as Pine goes over with it. Good defense that time for the Rangers. Buell, far side leather one on the attack. Dig from Peterson. Davis goes over with it and it lands in. What a great play from Abby Davis. Threw it in the back right corner. Boy, the Bison weren't ready for that one. And it's now 10-5. Rangers needed that. See if they can pick up some points on the serve from the freshman from El Paso, Texas, Abigail Burns. Here's the serve from Burns. Ina now on the attack is blocked by the Rangers. That was Pupard. Oh, my apologies. It's going to be a point for the Bison. Well, I thought the Rangers actually had blocked that one. It must have landed on the Rangers' side, though. So Buell to serve, 11 to five, Oklahoma Baptist. Here's the serve, and that one just gets over a diving play by Peterson, and a point for the Bison as the Rangers go into the net. Point Bison. And it's now 12-5. Buell to serve once more. Here's the serve, gathered by Parks. Abigail Burns, now on the attack comes Russell. Dig that time from Buell. Rio keeps it alive. Now on the attack coming to the Bison. Good did from Parks. Now Wimmer on the attack is going to be a point for the Rangers that time. Let's say that was blocked out by the Bison. Well, that was really, again, a close play. It looked like it may have hit the tape and came back. But again, Rangers may have caught a break there, but nonetheless, they'll take the point. I will, too. It's 12-6, Oklahoma Baptist. Here's the serve from Wimmer. Kept alive by Leatherwin. Torrio keeps it alive. Now on the attack that time come Brown. It was blocked by Courtney Russell and a point for Northwestern. I believe that may be the first block of the night for the Rangers. 12-7, Bison lead by five. The freshman, Wimmer to serve again, and it's a service error back past the end line. Rangers third service error of the evening. 13-7, 13-7, Rangers trail by six as Leatherwin back to serve. As it looks like, uh, trying to see that is, looks like it was Kaylee Buell coming over having a word with the official. Leatherwin ready to go with the serve. Here it is, controlled by Honeycutt. Abigail Burns back to Honeycutt now on the attack. And that one just lands in right at the end line. As the Bison let it go, that was Leatherwood. And that is a kill and a point for Northwestern. It's now 13-8. Libero Parks to serve. This one goes over. Kept alive by the Bison, scrambling here a little bit as Leatherwood just goes over with it. Wimmer with the dig. Burns now to Dillinger on the attack. And it's going to be a point for Northwestern. As the Bison into the net that time, it's now 13-9. Rangers back within four, creeping back into this one. Here's the serve. Leatherwin with the dig. Buell, far side, Weber on the attack is blocked by Northwestern. Good block again. Madison Dillinger come up with that one. And it's now a three-point game. It's 13-10. Coach Howell wants a timeout. We'll take it with her. Bison leading it 13 to 10 on the Community Bank scoreboard here in the third set. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company prides itself on supporting our customers for over 100 years we've been part of this community. 
we invite you to stop by and learn more about the qualities that we display, like community involvement and great customer service. Call, stop by, or visit www.albastatebank.com to open an account and let us show you what family banking is all about. We are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. We are right in the swing of football season in Alva, Oklahoma, and Holder Drug has everything you need for your tailgates this year. Whether you support Gold Bugs, Rangers, or both, Holder Drug has it all. Holder Drug also wants to remind you that fall is right around the corner. They have several new pieces of decor for your home for the new season. As always, the Fountain has daily specials available and offer delivery on your medication. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodneau here with you again for Ranger Volleyball tonight. Rangers trailing it 13-10 here in the third set. Got back into this one, though. Here's a serve from Parks. Leatherland receives it. Buell now will set for Brown on the attack, and it lands in for a kill and a point. Win again. Perfectly placed by Brown as Wimmer just could not get to it. They have really gone to that right back corner a lot. So Torrio back to serve. Torrio with the serve, and it's a service error into the net. Rangers. Rangers will take that one. It's 14 to 11. Rangers back to serve once more. Let's see what Abby Davis can do here. Rangers, Abby so Abby Davis in to serve. Exiting will be Courtney Russell. Up front is Dillinger, Pine, and Honeycutt. Here's the serve from Davis. By the one, now Buell, now on the attack comes Helmy if it's blocked by Dillinger. Bison still with the attempt on the attack, and that's going to be a kill and a point as Weber lands that one right in the middle. And nobody was there for the Rangers as they couldn't get home. And point for the Bison, it's 15 to 11. Boy, Weber has been, Bison, Weber's been pretty good more. tonight. Again, came in with 63 kills, we told you. About three or four different players for the Bison who could really get after you, and they've shown it tonight. As here's a serve for Moore, played by Wimmer. Now coming up on the attack is Honeycutt, and it hits that one through the block of Buell, and it lands out of play for a point and a kill for the Rangers. Serve for the Rangers. Boy, Honeycutt just drilled that one in. Come up with a point for Northwestern. It's 15-12, Rangers to serve. Here's the serve from Maggie Peterson. Torrio received it, Buell. Now on the attack, Leatherwood dig from Parks, and that one's going to land right behind my broadcast position. About four rows into the stands. It's now 16-12. Bison still in serve control Bison, by four. Kaylin Ina. So Kaylin Ina to serve for Oklahoma Baptist. Here's the serve. Played by Parks. Davis. Now on the far side, Wimmer on the attack, and boy, Wimmer just smashed that one to the floor. That's now 16-13. Serve for the Rangers, number 22, Madison see. Dillinger. A talented freshman there. Wimmer got up pretty high to go get that one. Dillinger with the serve. Played by Torrio. Now far side, go to Leather one on the attack off the block of Burns as it lands in for a kill and a point. It's now 17-13. Every time the Rangers get within three, the Bison have had an answer. Number 14, Avery Helmuth. Avery Helmuth back to serve now. Here's the serve from Helmuth. Played by Parks. Davis keeps it alive. Now on the attack comes Wimmer, and it's an attack air into the net. And it's now 18-13 Bison, seven points away from closing out the match tonight here at Alva. Helmuth back to serve again. Played by Peterson. Davis up to the net. Raven Burns on the attack. And another attack here into the net. Point Bison. Well, that's tough to see. It's now 19-13. And Coach Avishan wants a timeout. We will take it. 19-13 Bison leading on the Community Bank scoreboard here in the third set. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. 
Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can easily be corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. That's 327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports all Ranger and Gold Bug activities. Whether you're purchasing a new home, renovating your existing home, or using the equity in your home for other needs, the home loan products at Community Bank has you covered. Stop by 1729 College Boulevard right here in Alba or call 580-327-5500 today to visit with one of their home loan experts and let them help you get started with your home needs today. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Helmet to serve out of the timeout, here it is. Controlled by Peterson. A little set for Pine, and it's blocked at the net and lands in for a point. And that was Audrey Poupard again. I believe she's got two blocks here in the third set. It's 20 to 13, Bison. Elmuth to serve once more. And the Rangers had got it to 16 13, but boy, just have not been able to get any closer than three points. Here's the serve from Helmuth. Played by Parks. Davis now on the near side. Wimmer off the block. Kept alive by Ina on the dig. Leatherland hits it over. Dig by Parks. Davis far side. Pine on the attack. And it lands in for a kill. Good placement from Pine as she found that back right corner. And it's now 20 to 14. Checking back in for the Rangers. Courtney Russell as Abigail Burns will go back to serve. Serve from Burns, played by Ina. Now on the attack that time for Oklahoma Baptist was Brooklyn Fluke who's checked in. And that's gonna be a point for the Rangers off the attack error from Fluke. Who's the 5'11 sophomore from Shawnee, Oklahoma by way of California Baptist University. Serve from Burns, played by Ina. Far side set, Leatherland on the attack. Dig from Abigail Burns, kept alive from Parks. Now Wimmer on the attack. Dig from Torrio. Now on the attack for the Bison as that was Destiny Temple who gets the kill, the 5'9 senior from Phoenix, Arizona, and she'll make it 21-15. Bison with a six-point lead. So Brooklyn Fluke has checked in, also Destiny Temple late here in the third set as Kaylee Buell will go back to serve. Serve from Buell, played from Parks, Burns, now on the near side, Wimmer on the attack, and it's an attack error back past the end line as they're trying to say it was tipped, and the officials are gonna disagree. It'll be a point for the Bison, it's 22-15. Buell to serve once more. Parks plays it, Burns down to Raven Burns, just kind of punches that one over. That was a dig from Ina, and boy, misplayed that did the Bison, as they're not able to get an attack off, and that's gonna be a point for the Rangers. Now serving for the Rangers, number 10, Addison Wimmer. 22-16, Rangers trailing by six, as the freshman Addison Wimmer with the serve. Played by the Bison, Buell, far side, Leatherland on the attack. Kept alive by Honeycutt, Abigail Burns, back to Honeycutt on the attack, and it is a kill and a point. For Katie Honeycutt, it's 22-17. Boy, that was Brown and Temple who come up to try and block that one. When Honeycutt was having no part, just hit it right by him. Serve from Wimmer. Played by Ina. Now they'll set Brown on the attack. Dick from Parks. Burns. Now coming up is Wimmer on the attack. Dick from Ina. Far side set, Leatherland on the attack is blocked by the Rangers. Great defensive play there by Courtney Russell. And it's 22 to 18. Rangers back within four. Wimmer to serve once more. Here's the serve. Torrio keeps it alive. Now Leatherland on the attack. Off the deflection and the block that time of Burns. It lands back past the inline, line. And that'll be a point for the Bison. 23-18, Rangers trail by five. Bison, number 11, Emily, Rich. Emily Rich has checked in now for the Bison. Freshman for Burleson, Texas, but it'll be Leatherland back to serve. Here's the serve. 
Played by Honeycutt. Burns now will go back to Honeycutt on the attack. Kept alive by the Bison. Now hitting this one over. That was Rich, but is blocked by Northwestern. Buell now sets back to Rich on the attack. Dick from Parks. Abigail Burns back to Honeycutt on the attack. And it's going to be an attack error. Was it deflected? It was. A point for the Rangers. So the Rangers pick up the kill and the point. As they're back within four, it's 23-19. Tara Parks to serve. Serve from Parks. Played by Rich. They'll set Brown on the attack, and it's a kill as that went right off the forearm of Wimmer. And we're now at match point for the Bison. Twenty-four nineteen. Torrio back to serve. Here's the serve from Torrio. Played by Honeycutt. Burns back to Honeycutt on the attack. Good dig from Leatherland. OBU will set far side. Rich on the attack. Dig from Wimmer. Burns now back to Honeycutt on the attack as it rolls off the top of the tape and lands in for a kill. So Katie Honeycutt and the Rangers needed that one. They're back within four. Got to score four more points, though, again, to keep this set going. Abby Davis to serve for Northwestern. Serve from Davis. Played by the Bison, Leatherwin. Now on the attack come the Bison. It's blocked by Katie Honeycutt. And the Rangers pick up the point. It's 24-21. Rangers back within three. Rangers to serve once more. Here it is, Abby Davis. Played by the Bison. Buell, now to Brown on the attack, and that's going to land in for a point and a kill. And that is going to do it as the Bison are going to win this one here tonight as they'll beat the Rangers three sets to zero. 25-21 is your final here in the third set as the Bison take all three with the win. The Bison improved to eight and two. Two and one in conference play. Rangers with the loss dropped to two and ten. One and two in conference play. Bison win this one tonight in three straight sets. We will take a timeout. Our postgame wrap-up show begins right after this. This is Ranger Volleyball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Do you still have a bank CD? This is Whitney Gum with ENJ Financial. Did you know there are other options that offer downside protection with the ability to generate much better returns? If you're unhappy with your CD rate, call our office today to schedule your complimentary review at 580-327-2552 or visit one of our offices in Woodward, Stillwater, Adair, or right here in Alva. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Welcome back to our post-game show as we're here inside Personal Fieldhouse. We're joined by Ranger Volleyball Head Coach Fred Abishan. Coach, good to have you in the post-game. I, I know uh, not the results you wanted tonight. Uh, give me your thoughts on this one, how it played out. Well, if, if you're looking at wins and losses, absolutely not. Not the result I'd ever want. Um, but I love how we're playing. We, we are playing so much better than we did the first few weeks of the season. I've said it numerous times, and it's not going to change. We're not going to get two years older all of a sudden. Uh, with our team going up against the number of fifth-year seniors that are playing for OBU that have won back-to-back -back championships. I mean, they play so smooth. Uh, you know, you get them off their game for one point, they, they make adjustments quickly and, and can execute uh, on those adjustments. But I love how we're playing. I, I think we played strong tonight. Um, you know, Katie Honeycutt really, really stepped up and played like the true veteran that she is, a, a true senior. Um, but we've got so many young players, and I think they're doing a great job, and we just got to keep getting better. Well, I think uh, not only that, you guys, I know you're replacing some from last year. You've got some players maybe in different positions. Uh, you know, I know Tara Parks is your libero now. How do you think she's handled it to this point in the season, playing that position? She's doing solid. Um, you know, b behind Katie, I look at Tara as probably our next most experienced player that's been around for a long time, and, and she's doing a very solid job. Her, I thought her service even defense were pretty good tonight. Uh, led the team in digs. 
Um, you know, she's a solid server. She's just such a dependable player. I, I think her only thing that she's got to get a little better at is uh, out of system setting for us. So when the setter passes the ball, she's got to set, and she's got to do a little better job of that. But you know, her her whole game is solid, and I really you know again, Katie won and, and Tara right behind her with that experience is just paying off for us. Well, and I know you guys beef, beefed up the non conference schedule. You played a lot of uh, very good opponents, you know, and, and was that something to kind of get you guys ready? For the Great American Conference, because you look up and down, this is going to be a tough league this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was the whole point of, you know, for us to compete with the OBUs, the Hardings, the Arctex, uh, Swasu, Henderson. I mean, they're all good. And, and the teams that have been near the bottom of the conference have improved so much. It's going to be a super tough conference season. But uh, I think we're right on track. You know, t tonight it is a little tough to lose at home. But uh, a week ago I told the girls, said, look, you know, the first, the first 10 games of the season – didn't go our way wins and losses. You know, my biggest goal was if we can go five and five in the next 10, then we're right on track to finish strong in this conference. And right now we're still on pace. And again, I'm not disappointed in anything. I love how hard we played tonight. And uh, the girls did a great job tonight. And I know this was kind of a home weekend for you guys with Oklahoma Baptist tonight. You've got uh, Bethel College and Central Christian here for a doubleheader tomorrow. Uh, and, and I know it's, obviously you want to get as many wins as you can at home because you guys got a tough stretch. You've got to have five straight on the road after that. Yeah, that is going to be tough. So it is nice to be home for a little bit. Um, obviously, I would have liked to have had a better result, wins and losses wise tonight. Uh, but we have no time to pout about it. You know, it's time to get back to work tomorrow with two home games. And, um, you know, then again, like you said, we're on the road a lot. So uh, I feel like we've been on the road the entire season so <laughs> far. And, but it is still just September, and we've got a lot of volleyball left. Well, Coach, uh, looking forward uh, to tomorrow. I'll be back in here. Uh, quick uh, kind of thing about Bethel College and Central Christian, uh, what you've been able to find out about them going into tomorrow's matchups. Well, I'll start with Central Christian. You know, they've got a new coach. They're a very, very young team. Uh, they're, they're having a tough time this year. Um, so I'm not really sure what to expect from them. Um, but I do know that Bethel's had a very solid season so far, and we play them first. And so uh, they've got a new coach as well, and, and it looks like they've got a couple of good uh, producing players, um, but it, it'll, it'll definitely be uh, good challenges us, for us tomorrow to come off of tonight and see if we can recover in time and go out there and play our best. But uh, yeah, Bethel, Bethel should be pretty solid, and Central Christian is just kind of an unknown entity at this time. You know, we, we don't know a whole lot about them other than they, they have a lot of new players. Well, Coach, good luck tomorrow. I know I'll be here uh, for that first game at 1 o'clock against Bethel College, and uh, good luck tomorrow, and good luck for the road trip. I don't see you before then. Dustin, thanks so much. I appreciate all the support. All right, and thanks again to Ranger Volleyball Head Coach Fred Abishan joining us here in the postgame as, again, the Rangers fall tonight to Oklahoma Baptist in straight sets 3-0. We look at some of the final numbers. Oklahoma Baptist finished with 43 kills, 13 or 14 total attack errors, 109 total attacks for a percentage of 26%. Rangers on the other side, though, 36 kills, 26 attack errors, 122 total attacks. Oklahoma Baptist much more efficient tonight than Northwestern. Uh, when you look at the total number of service aces, two for Northwestern, three service errors for the Bison, one service ace to two service errors. Diggs tonight, 55 for the Bison, 46 for the Rangers. Rangers were led tonight with Tara Parks with 13. On the other side, 17 from, again, uh, Diana Torrio for Oklahoma Baptist as, uh, again, the Bison winning this one here tonight, 25-19 in set number one, 25-16 in second set, and, uh, again, winning it 25-21 in the third and final set. But that is going to wrap it up for our coverage tonight. Uh, again, appreciate to all of our listeners out there on the course on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel. And, of course, all of our sponsors. I want to mention them who make uh, every one of our broadcasts possible. Alva State Bank, Holder Drug, Alva Vision Clinic, Community Bank of Alva, e &J Financial, Beatles Nursing Home, k, k Body Works, Northwest Electric, Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma, Croft Chevrolet, Pioneer Sailor, 818 Diner, Integris Health, Integris Bass Baptist Health Center, and Enid Northwest Nutrition, and of course, g, &G Home Furnishings, all of those uh, businesses. And again, appreciate their support throughout the 21-22 athletic season for not only Ranger Athletics, but Goldbug Athletics as well. But that'll do it for tonight. Rangers again fall tonight to Oklahoma Baptist in straight sets. 3-0 will be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock for the first matchup against Bethel College, which means our pregame show, the E&J Financial pregame show, will begin at 12.45 here on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel. After that, double duty tomorrow. We'll pick up. We'll go out to Ranger Field, get set up for Northwestern Ranger football. Looking forward to that. Family day. It's going to be a big day here in Alva. As, again, uh, Brandon Brinkley is going to be joining me on the broadcast 
for tomorrow's game. Looking forward to that as the Rangers are going to host the Tigers of East Central. Northwestern 0-3 on the season, looking for their first victory of the year as the Tigers will come in with a record of 2-1. and one. We'll also be joined at halftime tomorrow by our Dean of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Caleb Mossberg, to talk about all the Family Day festivities. Final score, final time. Rangers fall tonight, 3-0 in straight sets to Oklahoma Baptist. Rangers now drop to 2-10 and 10 on the season, 1-2 and two in conference play. Oklahoma Baptist drops two or moves up to eight and two and two and one in conference play. For all of our sponsors, again, Dustin Goodno saying so long from Ranger uh, from Percival Fieldhouse here in Alva, Oklahoma, and good night, Ranger Nation.